Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to remove the no valid subscription dialog from a Proxmox VE installation that's going to be used for a home lab. Now, before we get started on this, I'm going to say here right up front, if you are running in production, buy a license and get the support. This is intended for home lab use only where you have the no subscription repository enabled. So we're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna be running off some instructions from a site that says it's tested up through the 6.4.2. 12 version and we'll see if it works here or not so as you can see this is my actually my secondary server I just logged in and it says you do not have a valid subscription for the server please visit Proxbox to get a list of available options and this comes up every time you log in so we're gonna jump over to the terminal and let's make this a little bit bigger All right, let's SSH into the Proxmox VE server. And I do have my SSH public key on that server, so I'm able to log in without a password. So let me, on my other screen, bring up the instructions. And I will have a link down in the description for the website I used for this provided it all works out so we are not going to use the one line command I'm going to do the manual steps just to illustrate better what's happening behind the scenes if you were to use that one liner so the first thing we need to do is go to the proper directory and on the Proxmox server, that's user shared JavaScript Proxmox widget toolkit. And we're going to make a backup of the Proxmox lib.js. And then we're going to edit Proxmox lib.js. I'm going to use nano this time around. You could use Vim or whatever your pleasure is. And then we're going to search for the string no valid subscription. So in nano, it's control W. And we're going to say no valid subscription. And here we go. The message show line. We are going to change ext.message.show to be void. And we're going to save the file. Control X. Yes to save and hit enter. We're going to restart the PVE proxy service. So system cuddle restart PVE proxy dot service. And that is taking its sweet time at the moment. So we're going to log out here again. Okay, so I had to run the command again. And if we do status, we can see that it is in fact active. So we'll come back to our Firefox browser and try to log in again. And I think we need to reload this. 
There we go. And voila, no more nag screen. All right, yes, it was just that simple. I will put the link to the website where I found the instructions in the description. If you're using Proxmox VE for a home lab situation, you can also remove that dialog box and save yourself a little bit of mouse clicking to get into Proxmox. So on that note, I want to thank each and every one of you. I am proud to announce that on Tuesday, July 13th, we did pass the 2,500 subscriber mark. And I couldn't have done it without all of you. And so we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers officially. So let's see how quickly we can double the number of people that are watching this content, build an army of Proxmox VE enthusiasts. So on that note, thank you once again for watching. Please like and subscribe and share this out to friends and coworkers, whoever may find it useful in, in their endeavors. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.